My lips is nice and juicy. Clearance lip oil, y'all do sabe. Hello, my loves. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new vloggy vlog. So, this is going to be a weekly vlog. You guys are going to follow me along as I do every and anything throughout my week. So I hope you guys are ready because I'm not. So before we get into the fun, before we get into the festivities, before we get into the looks, before we get into everything, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Don't be shy and join the family because we are doing big things and I would hate for you guys to miss out. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up so that YouTube can go ahead and circulate this video across its platform. And don't forget to drop a comment down below after you finish watching this whole entire video. So today is Monday, top of the week. Happy Monday. Happy new week. Happy new era. Today is August the 14th and I am currently in the parking lot of Target. So long story short, I had an item that I had to return to Amazon and the return window closed today and I miss the UPS stores closing. So first of all, I don't have a box for the item. So either way, they gave me a week extension. So I have until next Monday to return it. So, I'm going to send it off once I get a box. Because I don't have no boxes in my house right now. So, yeah. But, I came to Target because I need... Oh, I want to get snacks. But, I also I also forgot that today was the first day of school for the kiddos in Houston, Texas. So, people are outside. Traffic. Like, it's a lot. But, you got to do what you got to do. And you got to do what you got to do. Right? So I'm about to head in Target real quick. I'll bring you guys with me. I'm literally just trying to get what I need to get and get out. I don't want to look around. Like, I'm looking straight to aisle 89 and straight back to Lego. Oh, and then I'm going to the gym after because I still haven't went to the gym today. And it's Monday, so you never want to miss Mondays when it comes to going to the gym. Because it will just throw off your mood, throw off your energy, and throw off your schedule. So, yeah, we're going to the gym after. But let's go get these snacks first. So they don't have any of the vanilla squares. I'm guessing some of y'all hungry here. <laughs> but I'm just gonna get two of these. They don't sell two for seven. Here I am wandering in sections I have no business in. Per usual. But they don't have sizes in anything, so. No, God is coming soon. Excuse me. Why does some lady follow me to my car? Y'all heard her talking? Sis pull up real quick like, excuse me miss, say what you want to say, but do not pull up on me, okay? I'm from the Bronx, New York. You don't just pull up on people like that. I don't know what, what you, <sighs> mm -mm. but I need a snack right now. So, I'm heading to the gym now. Ooh, AC, 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 AC. I'm heading to the gym now, but I'm creating a new workout playlist, so I'll share with you guys in the description box. But this is my new favorite, so I'm so happy he dropped this because I saw a snippet of it on TikTok. I'm like, when is he dropping this? When is he dropping this? Because this is my new anthem, okay? This is my new anthem. He wrote this song for me. He wrote this song for Catchy. He wrote this song for Kinesthetic. Da, da, da. This is Hans and okay so i just got to the gym i have one bottle of water left Ooh, that's tough that's tough i always make sure i leave the house with two bottles of water because i'm just always thirsty oh i have a little sip here okay, a little sip sip and then I have a little sip sip more. All of these is coming with me because I haven't, I didn't go to the gym on Saturday or Sunday because if you guys watched last week's vlog, y'all know I was recovering from a little injury. So I wanted to give my body the weekend to rest. So I feel like a tomato, okay? I feel like I took 10 steps back. So now it's time to take step, 10 steps forward this week. I want to make sure I'm challenging myself but not like stressing my body out. So yeah hopefully the gym isn't that packed i'll record for you guys i still feel uh, like i'm not 100 percent recovered 
but I feel way better than I did when it initially happened and at the end of last week so I'm gonna make sure to stretch and yeah let's go Hey guys, I am back home now. I had a great workout. I came home, I showered, and my battery's dying. But I am hungry, <laughs> and I know I shouldn't be eating at this time, but I'm gonna eat at this time, okay? Because I ain't gonna starve myself. That's one thing I ain't gonna do. I showed you guys in my day in the well, weekend vlog that I got these mini chicken tacos from Trader Joe's. These are trash. They're going back, okay? Like. I don't know who told me to try these, but they lie, okay? I'm gonna try this vanilla bean o ice cream. Because I have a sweet tooth. I don't know what's going on. Because my period is definitely gone. So let's try this out and see. This thing is hot. Oh, this is fire. Mm hmm. Oh, good. This is good. Okay. Nice vegan ice cream. Mm-hmm. But look what I'm gonna do. Cause I'm I found another battery. It's lit. What? <laughs> I'm gonna add in granola and date syrup. I like this ice cream better than the Oatly one. It's so good. And I hope this is not a temporary item. Them mini, cho mini chicken tacos, they could go ahead and discontinue them. Because why would you ever sell those? Like what? Two bites and you're done. And it's so like, I don't know, it's like chicken breast in it, but it tastes like tuna. Like how you chicken and taste like fish? All right, so let me show y'all. We got the granola, and now I'm gonna drizzle some date syrup. Ooh. Do y'all see what's going on though? Like, bro. Mm-hmm. Excuse my appearance. I look like somebody's tanti, but I'm about to go in my bed. <laughs> So we got everything on the spoon, ice cream, the granola, and the date syrup. Mm. Why would I ever think of this? It's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, August the 15th, payday. Your girl done paid all her bills and she is not broke, okay? So, I'm about to do my nails because I peeled these off this morning because they were just irritating me. And then this hand, I like have to soak off. So I'm gonna soak off my nails and hopefully I have enough time to at least paint one hand. And then I could do the other one before yoga. So yeah, we'll see, but just wanted to check in with you guys and you know let you guys know what's going on but my nails are so healthy like they're not i love this for me uh hey you guys i am so tired but i'm also so hungry so i am about to make something to eat so i've been looking at recipes online because i'm trying to up my culinary skills you know what i'm saying like i know how to do a little one too but i want to learn how to do a three four okay i want to the ice cream from yesterday is nearly done like 
I have been snacking on it all day and that's why I'm like, okay, I need to actually cook something. Because when I start snacking too much, it's like, girl, just just get a meal. Like, get the meal and call it a day. I'm going to make some chicken wraps, but I wanted to share this with y'all because I saw this. And when I tell y'all my mouth watered. Quick and easy turkey burger sauce, mayo, relish, hot sauce, ketchup, a little garlic powder, garlic salt, and I'm about to caramelize me some onions. Yes, you need to add unsalted butter and sugar and a little bit of whisker sour sauce, whatever you want to call that. And I'm using ground turkey. Season your ground turkey up with a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, all the everyday blend, and a little bit of whisker sour sauce or whatever you call it. I know some of y'all be sleep on turkey burgers and y'all be like, Ugh, it don't have no taste or a flavor. But let me tell y'all, I will make y'all the best turkey burger you will ever have. And I love me some homemade french fries. So yes, cut me up some potatoes, let them soak in ice cold water, boil them for about five minutes, let them dry, add a little bit of cornstarch, and I am frying mine. If you like your french fries super crispy, you're going to double fry them. And I know y'all probably like every week she make her a turkey burger. I just love me a turkey burger and french fries. And this was kind of like the Five Guys remake. That was That's what I was going for. But my caramelized onions and I add some banana peppers with some sauce. And I'm about to grill that on both sides. Y'all cannot tell me this turkey burger do not look bomb. Look at it. Do not sleep on turkey burgers. I'm telling y'all. This is giving five guys at home or whatever you want to call it. But do y'all see that nice, juicy turkey burger? Okay. Tell me your mouth is not watering after watching that. So I low-key want to make turkey burgers this week. Lowest of keys. So, yeah. Today, I'm going to make some chicken wraps for lunch because I don't have much time and I really just want to eat. So I'm going to make chicken wraps and sweet potato fries. But... I was looking at recipes on how people bake chicken and I saw this one recipe and it said to like prep the chicken by brining it. I've never tried brining chicken, but it says to basically soak the chicken in a wool, in a bowl of lukewarm water and put some salt in it and let the chicken sit in it for 15 minutes and then rinse it off with cold water. They said that helps to, it makes the chicken extra juicy. Yeah, so I'm going to try that today. So let's go ahead and get into it. Bowl full of water, stir in a handful, a handful of salt. That's a lot. I'll put like that much salt. If you guys have tried this before, comment and let me know. And also, maybe I'll put a little bit more. And also let me know like if I'm doing it correctly. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and stir it up. Taste it. I think I need more salt. And then I have a chicken breast that I had defrosted. And I'm just gonna leave it in here for 15 minutes. Hey, set alarm for 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes, and this is what the chicken looks like. So it says to rinse it off with cool water. Oh, she's soft. So it says to pat the chicken dry. I usually do that, so let me go ahead and get some paper towels. Oh, and I didn't even end up painting my nails. I'll probably do it tomorrow or Thursday. Whenever I find time, but I'm not pressed. So here is the chicken breast after being patted dry. Okay, now it says, let me read the instructions. Brush your chicken breast with melted butter. This is a butter I like to use, it's vegan. It's from the brand Earth Balance. So it's not melted, but I'm just gonna Take some and just. I'm so excited to see how like it, the taste is gonna differ. Like, will it be tastier? Will it be juicier? We gonna find out. Grow. They said the butter 
helps to add great flavor and helps to give a nice golden crust on the outside. But if you'd rather use olive oil or your favorite cooker oil for free, so you can either do butter or oil. So we did butter. Um, brush your breast on both sides and place the chicken in a large baking or roasting pan. Here's my baking pan. So I'm gonna put the chicken in here. Now it says to basically season it. So it says just put black pepper and salt, girl. No, you gotta put more than that, okay? So I put black pepper. And I'm gonna show you guys again because the last time I tried to show you guys how I season my chicken, I got a copyright issue and y'all couldn't hear what I was saying. So that, garlic powder. Boom. Lowry's seasoned salt, must have. Miss Paprika, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Onion powder, this thing be so stiff. Let's see. I like to pour it in my hand because I can't really see when I put it directly on the chicken and then just sprinkle it. And then some azobo because y'all yeah, should already know the vibes. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now it says to bake the chicken on 450 degrees. Babes, no, it's given 375. Loosely tenting a sheet of foil over the pan to keep the heat in the chicken. Yeah, I put foil over my chicken whenever I bake it because the inside has to be cooked. And I don't tent it, okay? I seal it. So I have this piece of foil that I use for that and I switch it out like once in a while. So I just make sure everything is nice and tight. So we're gonna prep for our sweet potato fries. I'm just gonna line this pan with some aluminum. I've been slacking off on showing you guys my cooking in my vlogs. Cause I'm like, oh, this is simple, this is basic. But I'm just gonna start sharing everything cause who knows who could think what, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all might be looking at my videos like, bro, that's gourmet. And all I'm doing is making chicken wraps and fries. <laughs> So I kind of want to try these. These are the Trader Joe's sweet potato fries. I showed you guys that I got these in my last weekly, not weekly vlog, my day in the like weekend vlog. I showed you guys that I got these. And we're going to try them out because I usually get the Alexia ones, Alexa ones. But those are more expensive. So I want to see what these is hitting for so we can, you know, have a more affordable option. So this is how the fries look. This is the shape that I usually like my fries like. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, this should be good. So I like to season my sweet potato fries with some black pepper. Just a little though, not too much. Some basil. Oh, this one is almost done. And then some salt. And I like to just mix it up so that we get it on both sides and everything is evenly distributed. I like to put my fries in the oven first and then in the air fryer. You get that nice crisp. I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta do both. So I like to put the fries in the oven once I take the chicken out so that the chicken could have time to cool down before I like cut it and stuff so I'm just doing this in advance so that I can just pop this in when the time comes but this is how I season my fries update here is the chicken breast I currently have these sweet potato fries in the oven and then I'm gonna air fry the fries but the chicken looks good I have it here resting because it uh, recipe said you should let it cool off before you go ahead and cut into it that helps all the juices like stay in the chicken so I'm about to wrap her up and let her rest, and then I'll be back once that period is over. But I'm excited! I'm 
make our wraps. I'll just show you guys because the air fryer is super loud, but I'm making the fries in the air fryer right now. Hey. Yeah. I was on midnight, I was on midnight. Yeah. I like to drink a cold bottle of water whenever I'm eating because y'all know I don't do juice, I don't do soda. Hold on, let me straighten you up. So I wanted to get my first impression slash reaction on camera. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first up, oh, I have mixed um, ketchup and mayo for my fries. That's what I like to dip it in. So let's see. The Trader Joe's sweet potato fries are cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now it's time to try the wrap. I'm gonna dip it in the ketchup and mayo because I'm just obsessed. Bro. This chicken? Hold on. Bro, why have I not been doing this to my chicken earlier? It's so juicy, flavorful, like, wow. Yo, that meal was so good. Like, I'm so stuffed. I don't even know how I'm gonna bend like a banana in yoga class, but I'm about to head out because I want to stop at Target before I go to my yoga class. So I just got ready. I threw on something real quick, something real light. It's so hot outside. So I just wanted to be comfortable, cute, and cozy so i'm about to head out and i'm supposed to be getting my package from sephora today from the sephora sale and i kind of wanted to bring it inside before i left out because i'm like i don't need to be sitting in the heat for myself to be melting but i guess it's just gonna have to be what it is because they still ain't come and it's like six o'clock oh i forgot i had a piece of water in my truck Call me when you need some, call me when you need some, call me when you need some. Miss Walker, get the distraction off you. Ooh, I know you can't help but to be yourself around me. Let you be, I let you be. It's the way you. Since you working all day to tonight. It's always on my mind The places you take me Woo! Big tune, big tune, big tune I can go up keep your hands on me Touch me right there Now it's just me and you Your body's a party And I want you I want you Ooh, I just 
tattooed. Target. Quick little chat so that we know what we're going in there for and we don't get distracted. So, I think I have a list. Oh, this looks so good. So, I need to get cleaning supplies. Oh, my phone is overheated. I need to get cleaning supplies, toothpaste, and I have to see if they have the garbage bags that I like. So, let go. I just need five minutes. I'm so exhausted. This heat, like, <sighs> this heat should be illegal. Like, why is it 102 degrees in Houston, Texas? I ran one errand. I got two items. And I need 12 naps. It just doesn't make any sense to me. No sense. So, I just parked there was no parking over here i'm like good thing i came early because i don't know what's going on i don't know i don't know i don't know and then it's parking spots so people park like halfway in the parking spot so very whew, inconsiderate i feel like i drank too much water today do you guys know that you could get dehydrated from drinking too much water random fact but i'm gonna take five minutes of myself and then go to my class so i'll see you guys either in class or after class and yeah Hey guys, I'm back home. Had a great yoga session, but babe, so when I tell y'all I have to limit my eating before I go to yoga, before it was I ain't eat nothing. Today it was I ate too much, cause baby, when I tell y'all I felt like a friggin' swollen tomato in there, bending and stretching. It was not good, but I got it done, and that is our two out of five. In case you guys don't know, I try to move my body at least five times a week, and I have been doing it consistently since I want to say July. So we're about to be two months in, moving our bodies consistently. I feel good, I look good, and I am good, period. So I'm back on the camera because we got another PR, PR, A, PR, PR, or PR, PR, or PR, 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 We have a PR package. We have two, I think. One package, I don't know what it is. The other one, I know. So let's just go ahead and open it up. All right, so I'm gonna start with the one I'm unsure about. This one was sitting outside of my house, so like I don't want it touching me. Let's see. Oh, back at it again. Okay. Period. The Lancome has just been spoiling your girl. Like, what did I do to deserve this? Well, I know what I did, but let's see what's inside from Lancome. Another one of these, like suede matte boxes absolutely love oh my god what the hell <laughs> okay so this is let me see what this is oh my god it says hi beauty as lancomes global makeup artist i want to personally share with you a handpicked selection of products that i use to create my signature makeup look i can't wait to see the amazing looks you create if you do share on social be sure to tag us i think her name is shika i think that's how you pronounce it but this is her a beautiful black woman period so let's see what we have in here so we have another one of these lash lift and volumizer mascaras i actually love this mascara with the uh, with the primer, so freaking good. So I'm happy I got a re-up on these so that, you know, whenever I run out, your girl has more. And then another one of these liners. I believe this is the same one. Yes, this is the same liner. You guys know I've been really into my wing liner. I'm in my wing liner era, my wing liner bag. So another one of these. And then another one, I think this, is this the same serum I got the last time? Let me have the plastic which I might bring you. Oh, this is a different one. This is a youth activating concentrate. So let me know if you guys have tried this before. Let's see what it smells like. Okay, it doesn't really have too strong of a smell, but you guys know I have to do my research on all skincare products because I don't play no games. Like Serrani. Ooh, this is a spray parfum. Idol. I've never tried it before, but it has been on my wish list. So let's see what it smells like. Oh yeah, that's good. Perfect. Cause you girl 
has a little bit of travels coming up so she will be in my bag love this and then they included two of these uv aqua gel defense 50 plus sunscreens so i have these that i could also throw like in my travel makeup skincare situation this is a palette one thing about lancome they're gonna send their stuff in french babes and my French is nowhere up there, so let's see what kind of palette it is. Packaging is nice and sleek. It's in the shade French Nude. Oh, this is beautiful. It's an eyeshadow palette. Oh my God. Love. And I have been meaning to buy more eyeshadow palettes because your girl doesn't have any. So this came in clutch. And then they also sent two juicy tubes i think these are the same two i got the last time spring fling and miracle so love these so yeah i have to give these a try so i can see what they're hitting for and last but not least they sent over this priming serum so let's see what it look like it says it's formulated with one percent hyaluronic acid primer for makeup but ooh, okay packaging Okay, and then you, I guess you gotta push it to open it. And then when you open it, you have like a little scoopy thingy. And then you gotta open this. And then the product, ooh, this thing is hidden, okay. Oh, okay, pink. Didn't expect that, very interesting. But I love the packaging of this, so. Yes, but thank you so much, Lancome, for thinking of me and sending these goodies over to me. You guys are amazing. Like, what the, I thought it would be spoiled like this. Only if I could be the man to treat my high yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what, Lancome? They doing a big one, okay? So I can't wait to try these products and let you guys know my thoughts and opinions, as always. She's a Lancome girl. And next up, I got a package from Osea, okay? Period. I love, like, if y'all know me, y'all know I love Osea products. So let's see what they sent over to your girl. Here's our package. It says seaweed looks good on you. Period. And then this is the product information for their newest product, which is their Sea Glow Resurfacing Scrub. Okay, Osea out here launching new products and whatever. And here are the goodies. That perfume smells so good. Oh my God, I can't wait to get the full size. So first of all, there's Sea Glow Resurfacing Scrub, which is the star of the show. This is Osea's newly launched product. This is described as an exfoliating and glowing uh, facial scrub. It's formulated with flower acids that will, that will resurface and revitalize to reveal smooth, glowing skin that is simply out of this world. So. Let's open it up and see. Here is she. She is here. She has arrived. Let's smell it. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Consistency. Y'all see that? Okay, no fragrance really. This is cruelty-free, vegan, and gluten-free. So I'm gonna do my research before we try her out. And then they also sent over the Andaria Cleansing Body Polish. This has the same scent as their body oil. If you know me, if you know Kinesthetic, if you know Kendra, I don't play about Osea, okay? One thing I don't play with is Osea's body care because they get the girls all the way together, period. So I saw that they launched this and I'm like, I want to try it. So let's see. And they were like, we got you. So this is it. It comes in a good size. This is also, all the products from Osea are cruelty-free, vegan, and gluten-free. So, this is described as an AHA exfoliation for the body. Ooh, I'm gonna have to try this tonight, y'all. Oh my God, it smells so good. <gasps> like, literal perfection. Y'all see that? Oh my God. Oh my God, my body. Oh baby. Oh baby, I cannot wait to try her out. This is the one. It's a physical and a chemical exfoliant in one. So you get like the, you know, like the little grainy consistency, but also you get the chemical aspect of it too because it does have AHAs in it. 
And then they sent over their Andaria Collagen Body Lotion. I saw this as a newly launched product too and I was like, I wanna try it out because I love the body butter plus body oil combo. I was like, I feel like the lotion is kind of like a happy medium between the two. So yes, thank you so much Osea for my new goodies. I cannot wait to try them out. And of course, let you guys know if y'all need to get y'all hands in or not, give y'all a real tea, my real opinions. So thank you so much Osea always appreciate it because your products are literally amazing i'll see it is sold in ulta stores and lancome is sold in sephora and ulta if you guys are interested in purchasing any of the products that i just shared with you guys but i will let you guys know my thoughts and opinions once i do have a chance to try them out so yeah i'm hot i'm sweaty i'm gonna go ahead and take a nice long shower and clean up my kitchen because baby when i tell y'all <laughs> I still ain't do my dishes. I still ain't do my dishes. So we're going to get it together tonight so that tomorrow, Wednesday, we can have a fresh start because the girls have work to get done. Good morning guys happy wednesday today is wednesday august the 16th and on today's episode of it's always something is my my boy decided to stop working so thankfully it's still within the one year warranty and they don't offer service on my microwave so basically they're gonna they submitted a request to have a replacement brought here so they're just gonna replace my microwave so yeah I didn't realize how rough, like, I'm not open to overcooking. I didn't realize how inconvenient not having a microwave is, especially when all you eat for breakfast is oatmeal. So that's much better. Because I tried to boil water and put it in my oats, and it was given lukewarm. So I made it on the stove, real bougie. But good morning. I have been working all morning, editing a vlog to get up for you guys today, my day in a life vlog. I'm just trying to get my life together. Okay, that's what we're trying to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my bougie stove top made. Oh, no, let me see how it tastes. Mm-hmm, mm, nice and hot, ooh. Hey, uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Am I smacked? Hey guys, it's a this is later on in the day. I filled this up too much. Let me hmm? visual depiction of cup runneth over. But I'm currently in the parking lot of Value Village. I'm about to go in here. I told you guys this whole month they have like 50% off at different locations. So I came to the location they have. They close in an hour. But I prefer to come at this time because usually it's less crowded. During the day, you can't find parking and all of that. And also, to me, it's too hot to be out in, like, the daytime. So, I said, I about to that. But I said, let me just come close to when they're closing. Because it shouldn't be as hectic. So, let us pray for the best. I'm here expecting things to be charged. They're not. Okay, they're charging. So, yeah, let's go in Value Village to see what we find. They have 50% off of everything except for the sale items. So, I'm really expecting that I find at least one thing in here. And my budget is, like, $30.
No, thank you. Okay. Good morning. Today is August 18th, 17th. I'm currently on hold with UPS because I don't know where my package is. Like, I'm not sure if they lost my shit or somebody stole it. <laughs> because it's been processed at a UPS facility about three times. I don't know how much processing a package takes. But I just feel like at this point, they're playing with my feelings, they're playing with my emotions. And of course I'm on the phone with the manager because I need direct answers. Like one, I need to report the fact that they claim somebody missed scan my package. Find who did it and report it. Like at this point, I'm all about convenience and anything that does not convenience me, I don't want it. And that's anything. That's something as simple as a package or something as complex as a relationship. Like. Anything that does not add convenience to my life, it has to go. I have to go. Like, I don't want it. I just want to live a peaceful life. And I know that for me to live a peaceful life, that's what I have to do. Like, even the home insurance thing that we spoke about, um, the flood insurance that we spoke about in the last two vlogs, to me, that's an inconvenience. Like, I paid my money. I communicated with you. I asked you for assistance. You failed to provide. So I had to take the hire out. And also update on that. The escalation team did contact me and they told me what they're gonna do. There's something that can be done. I'm really sorry, I'm just gonna leave a few more minutes to try to get someone on the phone. So can you just bear with me a few more? Okay, cool. Thank you. There was something that she could do this for so loud. There was something that she could do. She didn't present that option, but the CEO's team did. See how that works? Yeah, she said that she's calling the facility to make sure that it gets here. I had to tell them that I'm going out of town today because I just need my package. Like, it just shouldn't be this complicated. My name is Perry, P is a contact, P-R-R-Y. Okay, thank you so much, Perry. No problem, ma'am. You have a wonderful one. You too, babe. Okay, so <laughs> my wallpaper is still not done because life. But I told the UPS manager to call me back at 4.30 if my package is not, say, delivered. So that we can figure out where my package is because I need my package today. It's basically my Sephora stuff. And I have plans to give you guys a haul tomorrow and to also share the code again. In case you guys want to shop the sale before it's over. You know, I had all my stuff planned out. I'm like, as soon as the package comes, I'm going to, you know, refresh myself. So I can record that video for you guys. But I still don't have the package. So, yeah. I'm going to do what I have to do. Because I know that my girls and my boys deserve this video. Period. But I need to finish working. And I need to do everything. Because I literally just rolled out of bed, as y'all can see. So I'll talk to y'all in a few. So over you 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 this song right here simply of me devoted so much time to find you one faithful boy i nearly lost my mind drive past your house every night in an unmarked car wonder what she have on me to make you break my heart I'm so gone. You make me feel all oh, of your love, your love, yeah, baby. And but nights I couldn't sleep. You let the sun beat you home to make you stay out all night and nothing to call. I'm a rowdy chick. Sometimes I gotta fight cause my mouth too slick. Kick down your door to smack your chick. Just to show you Monica not having it Someone love with you like a drug advocate But what she do, I do better and what <laughs> Hey guys, I am currently pulling up to Nando's I'm giving it a try If you guys watch my day in the life vlog If y'all didn't watch it, make sure y'all watch it after this video But I tried to come to Nando's two days after they opened here in Houston, Texas And... It was packed. Girl, they said they're not taking nobody else for the rest of the day. They said the kitchen was 
overheated they said the staff was tired so i said okay bet i'm gonna just try it on a less you know busy day so it's currently thursday afternoon at 11 45 so hopefully before the lunch rush because this is like a corporate area for you know people to go out and grab lunch so yeah hopefully they let me in and there's a table for me i'm starving and i've just been a little stressed out or overwhelmed for the past like 12 hours so i was just like let me treat myself to a little meal and that's exactly what i'm gonna do so oh now they're putting a nando sign up oh that pink jeep is cute is that my friend is that my friend oh yes baby they put in the oh my god they put in a nando's um uh promotional materials up so that people could pull into this plaza oh my god there's so many cars here i'm gonna just think these are people who work over here or something all right i see some people about to go in all right I'm grab all my shit i'll see y'all inside So here's the promotional materials they were putting up when we were coming in. Time for my review. Uh-uh. Honking me is crazy. I give it a... I give it a 9 out of 10. But the quality of the food was great like i have been you guys know if you guys watch my london vlog y'all know if you haven't watched that vlog go back and watch it but i went to london for my birthday and i've been to london before so that was my second time going to london and the first time i had nando's like during my first trip i was obsessed so when i went back for my birthday i'm like it's lit -da 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 -da. but what i slowly learned is that the quality of food at each nando's varies so it depends on which one you go to so my favorite one in london was I'm not even going to lie to you guys and tell you guys the location. But it was a day that we went thrifting. If y'all watch a vlog. I think I told y'all that I like that one. So, hold on. I'm going to put the DC on. So, I love the quality of the food there. So, when I came here, I was like, okay, I'm basically comparing the quality of the food here to that one that had the good quality of food. Amazing, okay? I got the... I got a half a chicken. And when you get the half a chicken, a quarter of it comes as white meat and a quarter of it comes as dark meat. Which I never knew because I feel like in London the customer service oh, let's see here. the customer service is barely existent so nobody ever explained that to me even though that's what I ordered each time I went. So I explained to the guy like you know I wanted white meat so he I think he was a manager he was really nice. Everyone in there was nice like everyone I encountered the hostess the um, bartender everybody was really really nice so i will say that i will give them a 10 out of 10 on customer service and actually i'm gonna write them a google review and you guys know me i don't really write google reviews i i just said bygones be bygones when something happens but they deserve a google review so i'm gonna give them a google review what's going on here because there's always confusion I also noticed that the Nando's here has more drink options than in London. I feel like London, they just had like the canned beverages. I don't remember what they had like in the fountain drink options, but it just was. What breaks is that? But the drinks just weren't hitting. But the drinks here, they had like Coke products in the fountain machine. So they had like Coke, Sprite, Fanta, Ginger Ale, Seagrams to be specific. Okay. And then um, they had. Uh, passion fruit rose babes when i tell you that passion fruit rose was so good but 
I didn't get it because I still have a whole day to go through and the last thing I want to do is be smacked at 1 p.m. So I left that alone, but it was good. I was like, can I have a little sample? And that sample, babes, was sampling. So they have that and then they also have a red sangria. They also had a um, peach lemonade drink that like was a cocktail. But they have tons of drink options. So if you're in the Houston area or if you plan on visiting, I highly recommend that you guys check out the Nando, specifically one in Post Oak. They also opened one in Katy. So if that's like closer to you, that's an option too because I know I have some Texas babies that watch my vlogs. So just wanted to give you guys my review and my thoughts. But yeah, it was good. It was really, really good. I didn't get the garlic bread because I learned after my last trip that the garlic bread has egg in it i know womp, womp, womp. so i didn't why is there no parking at the gallery of at 1 p.m like so yeah definitely check it out highly recommend and i'm about to go to the mall because y'all will see why bro y'all will see why guess where i am in the lululemon in the I'm gonna try on this set and see if it is on sale. Outfit of the day, dress is G-Star, belt is ASOS, sneakers, Converse, and my Prada bag, and then <laughs> stomach is Nando's. So, I like the jacket, this is a size four. The crop is defined. It's coming off as like coral, but it's like, Watermelon and the skirt, I'm not a fan of, so I'm gonna see if I can find a bottom to go with this. If I can't find one, I'll leave it. If I can find one, I'll get it. I honestly don't even know what to describe to you guys outside feels like, but it's really bad. Like, I don't know. Oh, I need to wax my armpits, but y'all can see. Can y'all see the press, the perspiration? Somebody looking at me, I'm good. Fuck. Um yeah it's hot outside okay and literally it's hot that's it that's the tweet it's hot so yeah i just parked to go to my yoga class thursday evening yoga and i was jamming out to over it by summer walker this album right here eats no skips 10 out of 10 like summer really puts her heart into her music and i absolutely love that because it hits each and every time like it doesn't make any sense how one can create a masterpiece after a masterpiece after a masterpiece like i don't get it yeah i'm about to go in yoga let me see let me try out my water i am so hot and i'm really excited because my friends are coming to Houston this weekend. Like, was not expecting that at all. That was the last thing I was expecting them to call me and tell me, but I am hype. But I need to get it together because I'm not getting my nails done until next week, baby. Cherry is back. Cherry is back in motherfucking town. And I was able to get an appointment to get my nails and my toes done oh my god my toes i have not got a pedicure in almost two it's like two months baby when i tell you my toenails are scraping the front of my ribs right now like my ribs are probably like girl when are you gonna get it together and it's okay because i'm gonna get it together next week but either way let me go ahead and go on in yoga i'll see you guys when i'm getting so i kind of let me see what the back camera's looking like here hold on i just wanted to see what the back back camera looks like when i vlog in my car or whatever but i left my camera at home but I wanted to check in with y'all, so consider this the check-in. So, yeah, I started doing my hair, and then I realized, babes, you don't have the time to finish it. So, it's a big thing. It's a big thing, okay? But we're going to get it together. Tomorrow, I'm going to be looking like something. Because this whole vlog, y'all probably like, girl, what is going on? The nails, the hair, like, uh, the skin is giving no. Look at where I ended up. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, happy Friday. Today is Friday, August the 18th. I think it's the 18th. So I have been working all morning. I actually recorded two YouTube videos for you guys. And I'm tired, okay? I'm tired. I cannot wait to get my hair cut. Like every time I do my hair, I'm like, my hair has no shape. Like the back is super long. The, it's just a lot but i'm waiting for my hair to finish dry so i can put it up 
in a puff but either way i wanted to come on here to share some things with you guys before we wrap up this vlog so first of all why did nobody tell me that trader joe's had a date syrup and this was like 2.99 3.49 but wait less expensive than the one i got from whole foods so like, just in case you guys don't know this is the one i got from whole foods this is from the brand just date this syrup fire 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 in case you guys don't know caramel does have dairy in it i do not consume any dairy so i would suggest it to try this date syrup as like a substitute for caramel so it has like a butterscotchish taste that's how I would describe it, like butterscotch. But either way, this Just Date comes with 8.8 .8 ounces of product. And this was, I think, $10. And this one from Trader Joe's, as I mentioned, it was $3.49. And it comes with 6.09 fluid ounces. So it's a little less, but it's a little less. But you want to make sure that the only ingredient is date syrup. So it says like organic date syrup is the only ingredient. Can y'all see? And then also on here, the only ingredient is organic dates. Just right here. So if you guys are looking for a date syrup, you guys always hear me talk about it. I put it in my ice cream, iced coffees. Great day. Okay, great, 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 great. Trader Joe's has one. $3.49. Don't walk. Wow. So I got that from Trader Joe's. I also started cleaning my bathroom this morning. It's been a big thing, okay? But I wanted to give you guys a little thrift haul. The items that I purchased from Value Village when I went on Wednesday. So majority of the items I got are for Classic Aesthetic. So I got this vase situation. This was $1.50 because it was marked as $3.43. I know it's 50% off, so it's probably like 160, whatever 50% off is, girl. But this is a cute container. So the way that I plan on using this is to put my makeup brushes in it. So in case you guys don't know, I do plan on putting like a vanity situation in my bedroom against the wall opposite from my bathroom door. And I was like, this would be great to put like my makeup brushes in. It's super wide. I do want to do a little DIY to it, so you guys will see that in like a future video or videos, but it's just like a plain circular bra situation. So I got this. I got this one. This one was like a dollar. I think it says $2.49 maybe, but it was like a dollar and a few cents. But I got this. It's super like aged, as you guys can probably see, so I do plan on like spray painting this and putting this in my bookshelf in my home office or somewhere around my house but i was just like this is a cute little number to have i love the shape of it super cute can't wait to diy it like oh my god so many ideas and then i got this one i got this one for four dollars because it says it was eight dollars and it's such a beautiful shape y'all see the size of it okay do not sleep on your local thrift shops but this one also plan on doing a diy to it love 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 it yeah i did my big one okay and then the last homeware that i got was this circular like this was literally perfect like so perfect it was three dollars because it was marked at six dollars and six cents i paid three dollars and three cents <laughs> but it's so cute i cannot wait to diy this so i do plan on diying these items with, with um spray paint and also like trying different things to add like texture to them so stay tuned and i'll share that with you guys but i think one more thing hold on it is 100 degrees outside but for some reason i thought it was a great idea to get some thermal pajamas but they're not just thermal pajamas okay they are thermal pajamas with flamingos on them and not only just thermal pop thermal pajamas with flamingos on them but the flamingos have on Santa hats like when i tell y'all this pajama set is gonna go crazy during vlogmas Y'all are going to be sick and tired of seeing me wear this. So it's a two-piece pajama set. It has a top and it has pants. It's a size medium from Old Navy. And I'm trying to see how much I paid. It was $4.80. Girl, I paid $2 for these pajamas. Hello? <laughs> so the lesson here is to stop sleeping on your local thrift shop. I only had like 20 minutes in the store of anything. So I felt like I was on a episode of what's that show i used to watch supermarket sweep i think that was the name of it 
but I was in there. I was going through, going through, going through, going through, going through, going through. you guys. I didn't really get a lot of vlog footage because I was literally just trying to look through. I'm like, I'd rather get stuff than get the footage. Like, so that was all I was able to secure. And I did have like a $10 off coupon. So if you guys shop at Value Village, they do have like a point system and it helps you save money. So I was really happy about that. But that's everything that I picked up from the thrift store the other day. I got the date syrup from Trader Joe's and I think that's about it. So I'm going to end the vlog off right here. I'm not sure how long this vlog is going to be because I have yet to start editing it. I'm actually about to do that after I get off the camera with you guys. But if it is a little shorter than my usual videos, don't worry because I have some exciting content coming for you guys. And if it is the same length as my usual uploads, don't worry because I still have exciting content coming for you guys. So I really hope you guys are ready and i hope you guys enjoyed my consistency throughout the past week giving you guys uploads throughout the week and i love you guys so much if you guys made it all the way until the end of this video comment down below with an emoji that has red so leave a red heart leave a ladybug leave a fire truck um what else is a red emoji but comment down below with red emoji so i know who my girls and my boys who made it all the way until the end of this video are and i didn't forget that i still have to select somebody for you know i can't say on my channel because these people be going crazy so that's coming but i've just been super busy i hope you guys understand but i do have more stuff coming for you guys so make sure you guys stay tuned i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video Every time I said that I